Welcome back guys to another Forza Horizon 4 video and in today's video we're going to be checking out what came with the series 32 update that is going to be released this Thursday hopefully okay because in the stream they said that they are having some technical difficulties and if they cannot get it out by Thursday we're going to have a backup uh, server playlist for Thursday which honestly I hope does not happen I want to get into all the new cars all the new content and a brand new car pack that is coming I'm super excited for this guys let's dive straight into all the new cars that we're gonna be getting for series 32 update all right now the very first car that I did want to talk about is the 2020 Shelby GT 500 this car is an absolute beast of a vehicle the real-life car with the carbon fiber track package it actually costs about hundred and ten thousand dollars which is pretty pricey for a Mustang but I mean I think it's really cool the way it looks and everything it is a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 putting out around 760 horsepower and unfortunately it's paired to a 7 speed automatic transmission. I honestly do not think we're going to be getting a manual transmission with this because of how much power the car is actually putting out. It can go 0 to 60 in about 3.7 seconds. You can get this car by completing a season event in the summer season coming this Thursday. Like I said, hopefully Hopefully it comes this Thursday because of their technical difficulty issue that they are trying to figure out. Uh, so hopefully that gets worked out beforehand. The next car that I did want to talk about is the 2012 Shelby 1000. The real life cost of this car is about $200,000. I'm pretty sure um, now in 2021 that car's price has shot through the roof. I'm pretty sure right now if you wanted to buy it it would be a lot more money. But that thing is a supercharged 5.4 liter V8 putting out nearly a thousand horsepower paired to a six-speed manual transmission. It can go zero to 60 in about four seconds. It was one of the last cars that Carroll Shelby actually signed off on. Okay, this was one of the last ones that Carroll Shelby, Mr. Shelby himself, was like, that's a good car. Send it, produce it, let's go. So that's really cool. It was last featured in Forza Horizon 1. I did not get to play that game. I wish I did. Forza Horizon 1 looks like a really cool game. Uh, but it was last featured in Forza Horizon 1. So I guess it's coming back. You can get this car by completing a season event in the spring season. And that that season event is called Shelby Coming Around the Mountain. <laughs> Shelby Coming Around the Mountain. That's pretty cool. Alright, and now we get to what I am most excited for. It is the Hot Wheels Legends Tour Car Pack. Alright, you can get this car pack for $10. All right. As of right now, it's ten dollars. I'm not sure if it's ten dollars, you know, UK or ten dollars American. I'm not sure the exact price. Um, I, it features six new, awesome, and ridiculously crazy-looking cars. Like I had to pause there because I honestly don't even know what to call these things. But they are Hot Wheels. All right. So we have the Ford F5 Dually Hot Rod that has a 7.3 liter uh, diesel engine and from the name dually it has four total tires in the back because it has a dually axle in the rear which I think is it's insane it looks awesome all right it looks like an awesome little like hot rod thing so this thing is supposed to be Frankenstein from different cars different uh, trucks it has like the body of, of one truck, the bed of another, front end of a different one. I don't know. There's a lot going on with this thing. Definitely going to be checking out this car pack because of this one and because of like another one as well. Another truck in the Hot Wheels category is the Chevy Love. And the Chevy Love was a real tiny pickup truck and it really doesn't weigh a lot. Okay, that's that's one hint. This thing's going to be insane. Second, it has a 392 supercharged Hemi freaking engine, which I think is way too much horsepower for this thing. But apparently, they made it work. This truck also has a rear engine swap. So the engine is in the back, in the bed. You can literally see it coming out. I think that's super cool. The next car, truck. And the next truck, okay, is an international harvester. This thing actually started its life out obviously as a truck, as a as a semi truck. That's what it was supposed to be. This thing was built and completed in 3 months according to uh according to the stream. That's what they had said on stream. 
It is a blown V8 supercharged small block Chevy engine that powers this thing. And this is this is the other car, truck, that I'm excited for in the Hot Wheels car pack. This is one of the reasons I'm going to be getting the Hot Wheels car pack. So if you guys do want to see all of the cars in the Hot Wheels car pack, definitely be sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about future videos such as that one. I'm going to be doing a video on each and every one of those cars as well as the Twitch live stream. So be sure to go follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description down below if you guys do want to chat up and check out all the new cars with me. The next car is a Studebaker. Now that's all I, I know about that car, okay? Aside from the fact that it is a Frankenstein car. This car is comprised of three different cars, but I only know two. One of them is a 1960s Dodge. The other one is a 1980s Audi rear end. So the, the back of the car is from a 1980s Audi and some of it is from a 1960s Dodge. It took almost 15 years for the builder to actually fully vision visualize and like finish this car. All right, because all of these cars are built, they're custom made by the owner, and there's like they have this Legends Hot Wheels thing that people enter, and if your car wins, it gets turned into a Hot Wheels. And for those of you guys who don't know, I freaking love Hot Wheels. There's a buttload of Hot Wheels all right there look at that look at how many hot wheels there is there turn it over here don't mind the door or the trash forget the trash look at all those hot wheels well the tv's there look at all those hot wheels dude look at that and that's not even it look at all those over there i have a lot of hot wheels okay i love hot wheels so that's one of the reasons i'm excited about this freaking hot wheels car tour pack in forza horizon 4. the next car is a Nash Metropolitan. Now, I have no idea what the heck this company is. Apparently, Nash was a car company competing with Ford at the time, but they like faded out into like nothingness because Ford took over and I guess AMC bought them. I don't know. It was some weird story like that. I honestly have zero clue what the heck Nash company is. But the thing that's super cool about this car is that there's like fuzzy dice on the engine block itself, on the carburetor of the engine itself, there's dice on it. It is a 300 horsepower small block Chevy, which is pretty cool because this car doesn't weigh a lot either. And the final car for the for this Hot Wheels car pack is actually called a 2 Jet Z. Now, guess what type of engine is in this thing? Guess you 2 Jet Z. What does that remind you of? Hmm. Oh yeah. A freaking 2JZ meaning we're gonna be able to put hopefully hopefully I honestly hope this is gonna happen I hope we can put 1600 horsepower into this thing the way the super has it now or like the end game super has because right now it has 650 horsepower and it's fitted onto a 1600 pound chassis now for those of you guys who know what a Koenigsegg one to one is basically the same amount of power for the weight so if, if I think it had like what 13 1400 horsepower and it weighed 1400 kilograms or 1400 pounds something like that so basically this two jet z could in theory become a one-to-one -one also because a supra engine puts out 1600 horsepower when completely tuned in forza horizon 4. this car is styled based off of a jet if you guys cannot see that i don't know what the heck you're smoking but it literally looks sort of like a jet. If you go over the, to the interior though, it has this fighter jet styled cockpit thing. Like you're sitting in there and it has like the steering wheel and like it just looks like a cone, right? Like it's aerodynamic. It looks like a cone. I think it looks really cool. This is one of the cars that actually made it to, uh, you know, become an actual car in the Hot Wheels lineup, in the Hot Wheels lineup. I don't have it. I haven't bought it. I'm probably going to go look for it later. I don't know yet. And a fun fact about this car, the afterburner, so to speak, the exhaust tip is actually a vegetable strainer. <laughs> it's a freaking vegetable strainer, dude, or steamer, whatever you call it. Like, I think that's freaking funny. Like, you would never really, that's, that's, what is that, creativity points? That's top notch right there. That's what that is. That's what that is. Now, aside from all that, those are all of the cars that are coming to the game. I'm not going to talk about any of the updates, fixes. I'm not interested in that. Whatever I'm interested in with all of these uh, Series 30 series updates 
are the cars that's the main thing that i that i'm worried about and car packs or um future dlcs that's all i'm interested in updates and fixes that's cool thank you for like for like upgrading updating the game and everything but that's not what i'm into i'm into all the cars but as i've said before if you guys do want to see videos on each and every one of these cars the gt500 is going to come out first this thursday hopefully like i said because they need to fix an issue apparently um so hopefully it comes out soon i'm going to be doing videos on all of these cars so be sure to subscribe here on youtube tap the bell icon to be notified about future videos such as this one and go follow me over on twitch twitch.com slash xanaviz follow me over there if you guys do want to see me live streaming you guys want to chat with me um i share all of the stuff all right on twitter if you guys do want to follow my instagram facebook twitter all the links are going to be in the description down below so basically all the links you need to know they're in the description go to the description you'll find my twitch you find twitter instagram facebook and yeah that's about it that's 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 gonna wrap it off for the series 32 update thank you guys so much for watching because I have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.